Hey guys, uh, doing another uh, reaction video, uh, this time to the trailer for A Beautiful Neighborhood. Um, it uh, stars Tom Hanks. Uh, the, um, the movie based on the Mr. Rogers Neighborhood uh, show that was on when I was a kid. Um, I don't remember the show that much. I do remember... Um, the who is the na people in your neighborhood or something like that and I do remember the trolley car which is in the image there um, but I don't really remember a whole lot of anything else I'm, I get some of it mixed and blurred with Mr. Dress Up sometimes because um, the shows felt very similar to me as a kid um, I don't really remember the shows that well um, part of the reason why I'm interested in this, though, is, I mean, I've looked back and I've looked at pictures now and I realize it's not the case, but the first time I saw the picture they released of uh, Tom Hanks in the costume, I, my mind was blown. Like, I felt like I was looking at an image from the show when I was a kid. Um, again, memory's fuzzy. I don't remember details. So I was curious. I wanted to check this out again. I haven't seen this trailer yet. Um... But we're going to watch it right now. So here we go. If it loads. There we go. Hey, I'm looking for Fred Rogers in here. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Please, won't you be my neighbor? Hello, neighbor. Wow. That gave me goosebumps. I'm here to interview you. It is so nice to meet you. You okay? Profiling Mr. Rogers. Boyd, please don't ruin my childhood. This piece will be for an issue about heroes. Do you consider yourself a hero? We are trying to give the world positive ways of dealing with their feelings. Yeah, like what? things you can do you can play all the lowest keys on a piano at the same time you love broken people like me sometimes we have to ask for help and that's okay I think the best thing we can do is to let people know boom, that each one of them is precious. Hey, Mr. Rogers. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Please, won't you be my neighbor? That was wonderful. Okay. <laughs> uh, wow. I have goosebumps, honestly. And I'm not going to lie, I'm I'm a tad teared up here. Um, I, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. Um, wow. <laughs> that is pretty amazing. Uh, so, hmm. <laughs> wow, um, so I'm recording this on August 9th, last weekend, um, you, of course, would all know that there was the two mass shootings in the U.S., 
and honestly like it I don't want to get political here but I'm tired of it and uh, I and I um, and uh, <laughs> huh. and there's just so much garbage and crap in this world. Um, you know, I. <sighs> I, I personally grew up in a Christian home and I know being a Christian is not super popular these days and by no means am I a good Christian um, but a lot of the people that go on TV these days in politics etc and so forth that say that they're doing things because it's God's will I don't think they're good Christians either um, the church I grew up in, the church that I went to as a child, preached love above everything else and acceptance. And don't get me wrong, they, they still, you know, homosexuality is a sin and all that and so forth, which I do not necessarily share that opinion. Um, I and I either way regardless of whether it is or not it's not it, you know it's a, the Bible outright says judge lest ye be judged meaning don't judge other people so at the end of the day it's not our place to tell people that it's a sin anyways even if it is a sin whether, whether it is or isn't that's I'm not trying to debate that topic right now so let's not even get into that um I think this world would be a much better place and I think there would be a lot more sorry there'd be a lot less violence, hatred, bigotry racism hating anybody because they're different regardless of what you believe is wrong period you And honestly, seeing this trailer just now brought all these feelings in, up in me of like, why can't the world be more like that? Why isn't the world more like that? Who cares? Like, honestly. You're Christian? Great. You're atheist? Great. You're Muslim? Great. You're Jew? Great. You're gay? Straight? Bisexual? Trisexual? I don't even know if that's a thing. I'm not that educated. I'll be, admit it. Uh, whatever. I don't care. You can be my friend. <laughs> Period. Um, honestly, like... Uh, it's not that hard to just accept people. Like, there are people, to put in perspective, there are people that I have worked with over the years that I disagree with a lot of the things they choose to do with their lives. Whether it was you know, excessive drinking, smoking, drugs, whatever. I never looked down on any of them for it, though. Not once. It's not hard to accept people. It's not hard. 
you, it's harder to hate. Like, seriously, I don't... Uh, this is totally not how I expected. Like, this is definitely a reaction, that's for sure, though. I've definitely reacted. Um, crazy. Um, I I want to see this movie now. Honestly, um, I I was more just curious about the trailer more than anything else. I didn't think it was going to be something I'd actually be like, yeah, I'm going to go pay money and go see this in the theater. No, I want to pay money and go see this in the theater. And for the love of God, I hope everyone else feels that way too. Because seriously, we need more love and understanding in this world. Less hatred. Less bigotry. apologize if uh, if this wasn't what you were hoping to get from a reaction um, I apologize if uh, I inadvertently said something incorrect that maybe rubbed somebody the wrong way it's not my intention as, as I said it, uh, love, understanding acceptance honestly it's not that hard it really isn't it really isn't. Yeah, it's that simple. You don't tell one person how to live their life. They don't tell you how to live yours. You'd f and if you looked past those things, you'd probably find you have more things in common. You really do. I don't have a single tattoo on my body. I'm not against tattoos personally. I just have never felt the need to tattoo anything on my body. I don't know what I'd want permanently. I have friends that are tattooed from head to toe. I don't have anything pierced. I have no desire to have any sort of jewelry hanging off me anywhere. I, now, granted, we've also discovered I have a slight allergy to metal, hence why I don't wear a wedding ring either anymore. Um, I used to, but it started to cause problems um, with uh, swelling and and irritation and rashes and stuff like that so my wife begged me to get rid of it because she was tired of seeing me in pain and so forth so I did um, so I mean thank god I didn't pierce anything because my ear would probably be like um, but regardless um, I have friends that have piercings in places I don't think I would ever pierce. Like, but that's them. You do what you do. Um, I have friends that are as clean cut and normal looking as me. And friends that look as bizarre. Like they're going to a death metal concert. Or whatever. I have male friends, female friends, straight friends, gay friends, friends that are Christians, friends that don't believe in God at all. I have friends that are Jewish. I have friends that are probably things I don't even know they are. And I don't care. None of it bothers me. And it shouldn't bother anyone else. And I don't understand. Again, I'm really sorry that this went off in a different direction. It was definitely not my intention. Um, I, I'm going to stop now because I could go on all day and I don't want to. I'm sorry. I just don't. I need to compose myself. Um, so, uh, like, subscribe comment below what did you think of the trailer do you did you watch mr rogers as a child uh do you remember the show that much what do you remember about it what you don't remember about it um 
I don't, like I said at the beginning, I don't remember much about it, but definitely some of that stuff did trigger some memories for sure. Um, I do remember the opening of the show, the tossing of the shoe, when he changed the shoes and so forth. That was fantastic. Um, yeah, I'm, I forgot what the puppets looked like. So as soon as I saw the puppets, that triggered memories as well. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, yeah, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Again, really sorry I went off in a completely different direction. It wasn't my intention. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Take care.